Good morning, folks. We're going to check in on the sun, then run down the top science news of the day, including our star's effect on various aspects of the Earth. We're starting at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours not being so calm and quiet. One CME released southward off the incoming active region. The annual spirals are not tracking this properly for some reason, so advanced viewers, you can ignore them. Moving quickly to the solar wind, we see the purple line top left, plasma speed, dropping down after the coronal hole stream impact, and below that we see the geomagnetic storm is calming back to extended quiet again. Let's take a bit closer look at the sunspots. I had planned on doing a magnetic analysis of the leading group today, but most of that spreading caboose disintegrated. This puts focus back on the incoming limb, where the smaller of the sunspots here is bigger than the Earth, and indeed the interactions between those spots is what released the CME. We'll go next to the continued look at how space weather affects our technology, specifically the electrified railways. In Japan, there are many studies on issues with their high-speed system and geomagnetic storm effects, and indeed those BART issues in San Francisco about five years ago were during the peak geoelectric field effects from a solar event. But it's not just technology. We are energetic double generator systems, heart and brain, and we interact tremendously with cosmic energy. Here we get a confirmation of one of the most well-framed correlations in the field, cosmic ray flux and stroke. But you know it's not all bad. While solar storm induced currents are affecting the locus ceruleus ability to handle panic, anxiety and fear, and while the hippocampal function is degraded, cancer cells are taking a whooping. Interesting pinpoint counter effect at exactly 93.33 volts, but otherwise, we're presenting a tremendous challenge to the viability of those malignancies during the solar storms. Up next, we'll give them this. Sure is pretty. The latest in uses of the Eagle simulations is attempting to track clusters of stars that don't like being apart as they move around a galactic evolutionary scenario. They continue to have issues reconciling observations with theory, which is, of course, because the theories are wrong, but this is, in fact, how the field has begun to recognize such over the last few years, and again, very pretty. A quick note on one of our lesser covered issues in cosmology, again the observations fail to match up with expectations, and like the anisotropic expansion and electromagnetism in the issues with the Hubble constant, the abundances we see with greater technology never seem to match up with those inferred from theory and previous observation. Coming back around home here, we begin a twofer with more of what we've seen in nearly every parameter and part of the world. Space weather control of key climate parameters, cloudiness, humidity, and temperature. Add Crimea to the list of places where the evidence is found, and folks, it's one thing to have the AGU include solar climate forcing in their fall meetings now. It's one thing for me to write a textbook on the subject and have it actually used to teach. But when the professors start pumping out books like this, with chapters like this, the entire field is preparing for a paradigm shift. Sure, there have been plenty of textbooks covering similar topics before, but nothing with this perspective and the benefit of having those correlations now there to be explained, like a Swiffer duster attracting particles, or electric current arc lightning commanding water upon its shadow. This is how our atmosphere's electrodynamics work. Geomagnetism, global electric circuit, ionosphere, lightning, aerosols, wind, and clouds. We greatly appreciate your support. Get our textbook at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.